This is for science! What is up everybody, Dutch with Deepbox Games, and today is the day we finally opened our private server to everyone. Now you can go join right now, but first, before you go do that, there are some things we gotta talk about. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go over the mods that are in it so you can subscribe to them so you don't have to download them every time. That's gonna save you some time. After that, we're gonna go over the settings just so you know the XP, the taming, harvesting of resources, and things like that. Then after that, we're gonna go over the rules and show you our brand new super awesome Deepbox Games website. It's really neat. It's brand new. It's even dboxgames.com. We actually got the domain for that. Super proud. And then after that, we're going to show you a quick basics on how to join the server and make sure everybody is using the personal gravestones because we're not going to be really helping out on people recovering their bodies. That's going to be a huge part of you recovering it yourself. So we're going to go over all that today. It's going to be so much fun. Don't forget if you enjoyed this episode, just smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or if you're just excited that the server is finally open. It's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to have some fun events going on but first let's talk about mods first we have pokey arc claw and fang we have ems the extended management system pokeballs the dino storage structures plus platforms plus castle keeps and forts remastered and death recovery mods so those are the mods that we're having so make sure you go sub to those because if you subscribe to them you don't have to download it every single time you get in the server that's going to save you some time also if you can't remember it just make sure you screenshot it while you can right now while it's on the screen Next up, we're going to have the settings. In settings, we have 5 times XP, 15 times taming, 5 times harvesting resources, 1 4th player water drain, 1 4th player food drain, 1 10th player stamina drain, 3 4th dino stamina drain, 2 times hatching, 5 times baby mature speed, 1 half baby cuddle intervals, and then 2 times night cycle speed, 2 times crop growth speed, and 1 half poop intervals. Alright, so that does it for the mods and the settings. Now we get to go and check out the newest Deepbox Games website. I'm super excited about this. Let's go! So this is the new Deepbox Games website. Now I hope everybody right after this video goes and checks this website out. In fact, you're going to have to pretty much to join the server. But DeepboxGames.com. I think it looks pretty snazzy and it's going to get better. But this is the homepage right here. And we will have an online shop. We're going to be selling our Pokemon cards through there. The shirts and all of our other merchandise. We actually have tons of stuff. But what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to Servers, Rules and Settings. And the first thing you need to do is you're going to come in here. And you'll see the rules. Now, it's just from here to here. It's really not that many. It basically, the main ones you may want to make sure you follow is be respectful to everyone. This is a family-friendly environment that we're trying to make. So make sure there's no bullying or sexism or racism or hate speech or anything dumb like that. There's no point for that here. We will immediately ban you for that. And some people that do get banned, you can attempt to try to come back from that. I believe it's in the banned rules, but we might give you one strike. It depends on what it is. But for hate speech and other things like that, more than likely you won't be able to come back. Now, world issues. Now, no glitching and stuff, but mainly admins will not be assisting with stuck players' bodies. There is a death recovery mod in here that we'll talk about right at the end. That was the gravestones that we talked about at the beginning of the episode. I'm going to go over that, and that is going to be how you get your body back in all of your stuff. So we won't be helping out with if your body gets stuck or if you tried getting into another person's base and you got stuck there. You're going to have to eat some poop or do something to kill yourself, and then you can respawn back at your gravestone. So make sure you put a gravestone up. Uh, for building, don't do the pillars and foundations everywhere to try to claim land. Make sure you find a good plot of land that you like, build on it, and just keep going. And if you have a problem with somebody, make sure you let one of the admins know or try to tell that person, please build somewhere else or at least back up a little bit. I have a plan for that area. So try to talk to them first, then go to the admins, and we'll see if we can get it worked out. But please don't do the pillars and foundations everywhere. That just becomes really messy. Also, don't forget that the traps that you build out can't be left all over mountains and stuff. If you build a trap somewhere, use it for a day, but make sure you tear it down. Please don't leave traps anywhere. Those are going to be really horrible to have to go around and start taking down for people. So there will be strikes for that. Now, on the tribe guidelines, I would say stick around a tribe of 10 or so people because we do say please only have 20 creatures out at a time. You can use the cryopods and you can use the pokeballs and this is going to help prevent lag. It's going to be huge. Also, a max of two Brontos per tribe. I know that some people want the Brontos so that they can have the huge eggs or they want to use them for berries or whatever. It's really awesome, but they do create a lot of lag. We thought about taking them out completely, 
but it does make it kind of fun to have them for boss fights, to have the spines and everything else. So please, two Brontos per tribe, and if you could, always keep your Brontos Pokeballed if you could. Please, they're just, they, they create a lot of lag because we do have a really huge server that we'll talk about in just a second. Now, like I said earlier, banned players, anyone that's banned from the server can request up to one appeal. So message the ARC admin on our Discord. That's going to be really important that you join the Discord because without it, one, you're not going to have the ARC password, but you also, it's the only way you'll be able to appeal against a ban. So if you get banned, we'll talk about it. We'll see what happened, but just know that if you're disrespecting people or you're being just outright rude, it's really not going to go well and we're not going to let you back in. It just... It's, it's really easy to be family friendly. And the last rules are the most important one. Deepbox Games YouTube, don't disturb Deepbox Games during filming or streaming. Please don't jump in front of the camera while I'm streaming, please. Especially if I'm filming, let me film so that I can get the videos out so that we can keep having a lot more awesome and amazing people joining us all the time for our events. It's really important. And also, do not visit my base without an invitation or explicit permission. Okay, so that means if I invite you over, that's 100% okay. There will also be days where I'm, I'm going to let everybody in a stream know that, hey, you can come visit my wherever I am, probably base. I don't think I'm going back to the island, but wherever I am, people will can come, come over, hang out at the base. Hopefully, I'm going to try to have little areas in my base. I'll try to have maybe a small museum area or something that people can visit, but I will have those days, so please don't just come over every single time I stream. Uh, that'll be a thing. But after that, it just shows the mods and the settings. So if you didn't screenshot them or you forgot them, all of that is right there. And there's also a shop that you can go to. We'll have our t-shirts and Pokemon cards there. Just in the next couple of weeks, they'll be there. So make sure you're logging back in here all the time to check the shop and see what's in there for new updates. But the part that everybody's been looking forward to is how to join the server is you go to servers. You're going to see right here available servers and we will have other servers. We're going to do more of the Pixar and other servers. So let us know which ones you want to come back and we're going to have those. But thank you so much to Survival Servers for sponsoring us. If you're thinking about making your own server or doing something like this, please click this link. This is my referral link to Survival Servers. It really helps out my channel and they are amazing. They have been helping us for the last two years and it has been amazing. So Arc Valgaro server is 255 slots and that's only possible because of survival servers they've been so amazing since we got sponsored by them they've been super awesome so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this click join us and then from there it's gonna say continue to discord you're gonna click continue to discord so after clicking the link it's gonna take you to the discord right here and you're gonna see arc valgaro community server and all the information you need is right here there's the rules and settings again back to the website and the password's gonna be right here now i couldn't put it there for the video but once you click on the website and you go into the actual discord you will see the password right there so that's gonna help everybody that wants to be in the server and i hope everybody has a really fun time make sure to keep it family friendly and please don't spam in global chat and any for anybody else that wants to know how our discord works in general chat you're allowed to talk in there again no promoting and keep it family friendly but it's a fun place to talk and broadcaster announcements you can find all of my latest videos and then if you come down here we do have a self-promoting section i want people to be able to self-promote and be able to say that they have a channel and stuff but make sure you keep it in here and we only promote family friendly things and it doesn't also have to be a youtube video you can also promote art like earth dragon does or alphamon doing his mod you can do other things in here but just make sure it stays all family friendly throughout the stuff we also have pet pictures of awesome pets and then meme central so there's plenty of fun places we have plenty of other games that people play and communities that you can join so i hope everybody has a lot of fun in here and just please remember Remember to keep it family friendly. So now I'm going to go back to the ARC server and show everybody how the personal grave works. So for personal gravestones, the first thing you want to do is push I and get into your engrams. Now if you hold the little bar on the side, you can go all the way pretty much to the bottom and right after 135, you're going to find personal gravestone right here or you could go to the top and you could just type in grave and then boom, you're going to find it right there. Now after getting that, you're going to be able to make it on your body, I believe, with cementing paste and stone, which I think I need some more cementing paste. One second. All right, got the cementing paste. You just need eight cementing paste and then you need some stone. Oh, right there. Personal grave. So 70 stone and 8 cementing paste, not too hard to get. You can go and try to get it from trikes or trilobites on the beach or whatever you can get for the, uh, the chitin and then mix it in a mortar pestle with stone. Boom, cementing paste. So now we have the personal grave. We're going to grab that really quick. Now I will be having to make one of these for Annie a little later today. I think I'm just going to put it right here. 
There we go. Recover corpse. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, set sign text. Box games, except boom! Now that should be working. I'm gonna put two things on me in Pokeballs, and we're gonna go take them out. We're gonna let our body die and see if our body goes back to the personal grave like it should and make sure that it's working. Okay, so I have a dino with me. Let's pull them out. I believe this is Stego. Yep, Tech Stego. And then I have Champion. If you didn't watch that last stream, you gotta check out Champion. Oh, what a T Rex. What a T-Rex he was. So what we're going to do is actually I'm going to put you back up. Let's return you. Let's keep you out. And I wanted to see if it would actually return champion to me. So now what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go jump in the water. Oh, no. I wanted to see if I could take HLNA and see if I could put it in a box and see if it would keep its colors because I know I'm about to die. No, it won't let me put it in a box. I'm going to lose the colors. Oh, this is really sad right now for me. These are my favorite colors on HLNA. So bummed right now. I'm gonna have to remake all these colors now. Okay, this is for science. This is for arc science. I'm gonna miss you and your colors. Oh, the times we had. Okay, so it shouldn't take too bad. Oh, oil. Oh, so this is a good idea. Let's see if we can get this oil. <laughs> Let our bodies die and then see if we can still have that oil on us. That'd be neat. Hmm. I could see how I could use this to my advantage a little bit. Oh. Oh no, there's an alpha shark. Oh, alpha shark I think is coming for me. I'm gonna have to fight it. I'm gonna have to fight it off. Is it still coming? I don't think it's coming. I think it turned around! Oh my god, where did that come from? Back up! Back up! I want to die of drowning. I choose. It's my choice. Nope. Can't take this. Can't take this. No, it took this. Okay, okay, let's see if it worked. Okay, so we're gonna respawn at our bed at the base. And then now we should be able to go up to our gravestone. Come on, come on. Okay, so there's our body. Let's go downstairs to the gravestone. And then recover corpse. Oh man, look at all that. So there we go. I even got my tech stego back. Now, the champion that was still out, it didn't come back to my body. So that means, let's say you're on a mountain and you throw your Pokemon out or your dinosaur or whatever it is, and then you die, it's going to still be out there. So you better be able to find a way to get back to it. We won't be helping with things like that. So make sure you keep them in your Pokeball once you get out to go farming or something, just in case. That way you'll always have it on your body. That's the safest way to do it. Or just make sure that whatever you fly to a big cave or take somewhere. Ooh, look at that stego. Make sure it's strong enough that you're not going to die on it. So that's going to wrap everything up. I hope everybody enjoys the new server and stays family friendly. Don't forget if you're excited about joining the server to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure you join the Discord to get into the server. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope everybody has fun. There will be events and I will be filming today on Monday going around the server saying hi to everybody. So make sure that you stop by, say hi to me if you see me flying over your head because that video will be posted on Tuesday. And if you see yourself in the video, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you saw yourself in the video oh and if you want to find out the best places to build on this server i have a whole video on all locations of algaro and their gps's so that video will be in the descriptions down below and i'll also tag it so make sure you go check that out if you want to know the best places to live and i hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your day on the server and i'll see you in there so until next time later